Hello everyone, my name is Atab Dhabi. I am Director of Product Management for CRM and Customer Engagement at IFS R&D. And welcome to this video, Introduction to CRM Outlook Panel. This is the first of three videos about the CRM Outlook Panel, so also make sure you watch the other ones. So what we're looking at is the Outlook client installed on my PC, but the panel is also available for iOS and Android devices inside the Outlook app and in Outlook 365 web client. And this is how you open the CRM panel by clicking this button here. And this area here will pop up. This area is a window into IFS application CRM. So it basically shows you all the information you have in your IFS CRM system about one contact whose email you have highlighted right here. As you can see right here, we have different uh, logos of different interactions we had with Eric right here. This here is an uh, opportunity. This here is an activity that I have in the system. And this is an email that I have logged into the system. And you can filter those by activating or deactivating those filters. So this view is configurable and we can click this cogwheel and select what we want to see. We can look at the interactions, which is what we're looking at right here. And there's also dedicated sections for activities, opportunities, and mails down here. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the business activities, business opportunities, and business mail sections. And here you can configure what has to be shown in that particular line, which information, by clicking this cogwheel for the settings. And here you can decide what should be visualized in which way. So what you can do here is also click on one of these lines to get more information, these fields here that you could configure. Uh, you see here, there are some actions that you can do with the objects here. What you can do with all of them is click this button here, view in IFS Arena, and it will take you to the Arena screen. You can also create new items in Outlook and link them to your CRM contacts. For example, if you compose a new mail, I will click this new mail button. Here I will open the CRM panel and click on find contacts and look for Eric and add him as a to recipient to this email and write it up subject, hi Eric, and some text and click the send and save button when I do that, the email will automatically be connected. You see it down here, FSCRM is working on your send and save request. Yes, and the email is now saved as a record in my CRM. What else can you do? You can also create an appointment with the same feature with the CRM panel. Click on find contacts again and also add Eric again. Great, he's required. And let's call this a meeting. And click on send. No, I don't need a location, send it anyway. No, I've sent out an invitation to Eric. So that's all for this video. In the next videos, I will show you how to create new interactions. So make sure you click the subscribe button. Thank you very much.